I'm cool, I'm cocky, I'm bad, and today on the channel we've got the Honky Tonk Man from Series 1 of the Superstars line. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for a WWE Superstars unboxing and review. First time going around the sun with these figures, first time I've ever unboxed one of these, so it's a lot of first with this one. As you guys are aware, or maybe not aware, these are Walmart exclusives, at least as of right now, and they have not hit the store shelves that I have seen. I did get this through the mail via Walmart, but for all your WWE Mattel needs, hit up Wrestling Collector Shop. Use discount code KYLE and discount code KYLE10 to save. And we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the reviews and unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And we'll compare it to a Masters of the WWE Universe figure as well, as that was the predecessor line to these figures. So WWE Superstars, very interesting. As we know, the WWE Masters Universe has run its course, unfortunately, as I really did enjoy that line. As you guys know, I was part of the Double Up Club on that one. Uh, I had one men on card set and a loose set. Not sure what I'm doing with this yet. I did order two of these. I did get two Honky Tonk Mans in the mail. Unfortunately, this one is falling off the card, so this is definitely an unboxer. I got a little bit of a crease on my other one. I got that one right here. I will tell you guys right now, it is a smaller package than the traditional WWE Masters Universe or the He-Man Origins packaging. I have the Mint on Card, uh, what is this, the MOC Masters case, and you can see it is that much shorter. It still fits in this case, but does not fill out the case like the other ones did. So a little bit smaller packaging on this one. As you guys know, trying to save money, less packaging equals more money. Uh, I'd rather have them go smaller packaging than, you know, cheaping out on the figures, I guess is what I would say. Uh, but I do have this. And then the extra uh, point of attention that I have with these, of course, unpunched edition. They have to be unpunched for my mint on card set. I still don't know. Do I want to go through that battle of trying to find four minty ones that are unpunched? I'm not sure. I'm definitely all in on a loose set. I'm still playing it by ear on this one. So stay tuned to the channel, I guess, if you're interested to find out which way the wind blows with that one. But today we're unboxing the Honky Tonk Man, the greatest intercontinental champion of all time, as we all know. But like a lot of people, was defeated at the hands of the Ultimate Warrior, much like Hulk Hogan, much like Macho Man, who was retired at the Ultimate Warrior. Just the way it goes, you know, nothing wrong with the Honky Tonk Man. I do believe the greatest intercontinental champion of all time, but he just couldn't stop the Warrior. It's just the way it goes sometimes, you know, nobody could. He was unstoppable. I don't care what you say. You guys know I love me some Ultimate Warrior. But I also love the Honky Tonk Man. Fond memories of sixth grade Kyle in music class at school. We used to get to bring music every once in a while. And old Kyle, he brought the Honky Tonk Man's theme song. And we were all cutting a rug in that sixth grade classroom. Why wouldn't be? Everybody loved the Honky Tonk Man uh, back in the day. But Honky Tonk Man, a favorite of mine. I was happy to get him in this line as we didn't get him in the Masters WWE Universe. Uh, very uh, interesting here. He's got his whole jumpsuit, all that going on. So a lot to unpack with this one. Uh, once we get to it, but let's look at the packaging on Honky Tonk Man first. WWE Superstars right up there at the top. Very cool Honky Tonk Man graphics. Very old school LJN kind of feel to it. Rock and wrestling feel. Very old school feel. Now a lot of people say these are like the love letter to the Remco's, which is funny. I loved He-Man figures, but I did not like Remco figures. I don't know why. It's just what it is, guys. I don't know. But uh, a lot of Remco fans are really happy about this because it is somewhat Remco style. I like it because it will mix in with my Masters WWE Universe Classics. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure where I'm going to display this. If I'll display them with those or separate, I guess time will tell. I only got one figure so far. I haven't seen Hulk Hogan, haven't seen Bray Wyatt, haven't seen um, Ric Flair yet. So hopefully I have those very soon, but I'm not going to hold my breath for any time soon. Uh, but cool packaging there. On the back, black and white, very retro inspired. Now we just unboxed the retros and the back packaging of the retro figures have that same kind of background. Nothing going on, no color. I guess that's a way you can say, hey, this is old school. It includes his entrance jumpsuit. It also comes with a guitar. I can't wait to get into that guitar, see what's going on there. It says on the back, the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. I'm cool, I'm cocky, I'm bad. Honky Tonk Man. Shake, rattle, and roll. Got the cross cell, got the series one, got all that kind of stuff. Maybe I'll give this to Emma and she can color in the Honky Tonk Man for us. Uh, but let's dive in here, WWE.com, it says, see what's going on with the old Honky Tonk Man. Very similar unboxing style to the Masters of Universe Origins and all that kind of stuff. See you later up high. Goodbye, Honky Tonk Man. 
Get my old trusty scissors out. We're gonna cut this plastic here. There it goes. There it is. Got that cut. Maybe, maybe. He is strapped in. All right. Oh, we get extra hands with him. Holy cow, I didn't know that. All right, we got the guitar. See you later. And geez, we got all kinds of stuff. All kinds of packaging going on here. A lot more than I anticipated. So full of surprises. Full of surprises with these hands. I, I guess I didn't even think about it or I or whatever you want to call it. I didn't realize we would get extra hands with the Honky Tonk Man. So that is something we didn't get with the Masters of WWE Universe a whole lot. We got an extra hand here and there. And it was usually because of some kind of a, a gimmick of some sort. See you later. Uh, so we do get hands, and of course, Honky's got two fists. He's got fists of fury. He's ready to throw down at a moment's notice. Two fists for the Honky Tonk Man. And then you got two uh, open hands here. So he can slap some people. He can do some touch-ups of his hair. He can do all kinds of stuff with that. And then, of course, you get the regular hand, the hand holding. C-clamp holding hands here so he can hold items and stuff, which comes on the figure. We do get the traditional Mattel guitar. I was hoping for something different. This is uh, really no different than what we got with Elias, Honky Tonk Man, Rock, etc. in the Elite line. Just color different. Has kind of an old school coloring. It reminds me a whole lot of the old LJN Honky Tonk Man, a sleeper figure in the LJN days. It does have the rubber band wrapped around it so it doesn't break away. I would love Mattel to come at us with a guitar that doesn't break away. I love a breakaway guitar, but mix in some non-breakable ones because it's nothing worse than displaying them and then you just come to the room and the guitar's all broken. And it happens. I've seen it and I'm sure you've had it too. But very cool to get that. Then we get down to the Honky Tonk Man here. And man, this hits me in the Honky Tonk Man feels as uh, I just remember him in this color jumpsuit. I would say the blue is his most iconic jumpsuit of all time. We did do a Honky Tonk Man top five on the channel. So if you ever missed that, I counted down my top five favorite Honky Tonk Man figures. Not sure that would make the list, but this is a very nice one as far as this style of figure goes. Fabulous head on the Honky Tonk Man. Very cartoon-esque. So it does kind of feel like that rock and wrestling kind of vibe to me at least. Uh, but very cartoon-esque uh, head sculpt on here. Very Elvis Presley. You pop this head off, people are probably going to say, oh, it's that's Elvis. And I'm sure the head pops off. Let's see. Uh-oh. <laughs> I popped the waist off. Uh, that didn't work so well. Uh, let's see. There, the head pops off very easily. So it is just like the He-Man figures. You can mix and match the body parts, pull them off, all that fun stuff. Uh, let's look at the Honky Tonk Man's jumpsuit first off here. Uh, Honky Tonk Man, of course, the greatest intercontinental champion of all time, as we talked about. But nice blue and red. Uh, it's like a nudie suit for you guys that love country music like myself. Now, when I say country music, I'm not talking about Garth Brooks. I'm not talking about that hat country music. I'm not talking about Clint Black. I'm not talking about the Dixie Chicks. I'm not talking about that country music. I'm talking about old school stuff. That old outlaw, Waylon Jennings. We're talking Johnny Cash. Uh, we're talking, of course, Willie Nelson and, and a lot of the older ones that I really, really like. The Merle Haggards. I mean, the outlaw country. That is my kind of country. Uh, Sturgill Simpson, he's got some good country these days. But one of the most, uh, the sleeper, sleeper artists of all time would be Marty Stewart. And then you go back to the Porter Wagner days as well. And I'm, I'm very well versed in my country music. I spent a lot of weekends at both sets of my grandparents' house watching a lot of uh, the Statler Brothers, things like that. That's all good country music. The later country, man, get that away from me. I don't even want to hear about it. But this suit reminds me of a Porter Wagner, Marty Stewart nudie suit. It's a famous suit of Nashville time. I would love to have myself a nudie suit one of those times. You guys know I love a good country western wear, especially the old Kenny Rogers western wear. Uh, I feel like Honky Tonk Man and I are right in the same vibe on that. And this does remind me of one of those full-on country nudie suits is what it, this definitely reminds me of. Uh, very, very cool. I like it a whole lot. Uh, now let's disarm, disarm? I don't know about disarm, but disrobe the Honky Tonk Man, which I'm not looking forward to. Is uh, Usually these things are hard to get back on, but it seems to come off fairly easy here. Uh, I'm going to slide this off. All right, I've had a lot of practice with this over the years as my kids have had Barbie dolls and stuff. I was never a pro until, uh, hey, Dad, put this back on. Hey, Dad, switch this. You get a lot of that when you got some daughters. I'm sure some of you guys know about that. He does come with a scarf. Very, very Elvis Presley inspired on the scarf, which is stuck to his waist a little bit, but I'm going to leave the scarf on. Uh, but you can pull that off. I don't know, what the heck, I'll pull it off. It is up around his hair. Hopefully that comes back on good. It never goes back on the same way it came. And man, Honky Tonk Man is jacked. He's not been messing around at all. Underneath all that, he is just looking like a million bucks. He has just uh, been hitting the gym. Uh, that's the most jacked Honky Tonk Man of all time for sure. 
Beautiful blue tights here with the guitars on it. He's got Memphis on the back. As we all know, uh, Memphis uh, area native wrestled in Memphis, of course. Cousin of Jerry the King Lawler, the Honky Tonk Man. I uh, just love the Honky Tonk Man. It's one of those guys that I've never met that I would not be opposed to meeting the Honky Tonk Man. I, I've always enjoyed his work. Uh, he gets a lot out of very little, and that's the true professional. How do I make the most money doing the littlest amount? That should be a goal for a lot of us out there. Uh, but uh, that's what the Honky Tonk Man did a lot of times, especially in his later indie runs. But very, very solid looking figure here. I am sure he's going to fit on a ringside stand. I would have to think. If the old ones did, these should as well. And they do. And it is plug and play, much like the Masters. You can uh, mix these guys around, do stuff. I could see some absolute maniacs out there getting two of these to open. One to display like this. One to display in the jumpsuit. I'm okay with that idea. You put him next to Ultimate Warrior from Series 1 of the WWE Masters Universe scale perfectly so you can mix and match i know there's a lot of people that take all the he-man stuff off these figures so it's straight wrestling not me i like the i like the combined aspect i like it a little bit of he-man a little bit of wrestling because those are two of my childhood loves brought together so i do like it but there's a lot of people that don't like he-man that like wrestling and vice versa and i understand what you do there but uh this looks really good they scale together i'm glad about that i wish the packaging was the same size but it is a new line so i guess i shouldn't get too upset about that but there is a lot to like about this Honky Tonk Man. I'm not sure the future of this line. It'll be interesting to see how it goes on retail shelves. I really, truly do believe that the WWE Masters Universe figure figures were primarily picked up by He-Man fans. I don't think the wrestling fans turned out as much as the He-Man fans did. So these being straight wrestling, it's going to be very interesting, very telling on the store pegs how well these do. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think there's a world where they do better than the Masters WWE Universe. I hope they hold their own. I hope we have a lot of series of these. We got Series 2 already announced. Series 1 should be hitting shortly. After that, it's really anybody's ball game, And we've seen things kind of uh, putter out a little bit, peter out a little bit down the line as the gas gets out of the tank on these. So it'll be very interesting to watch this dynamic. It is a Walmart exclusive, as you guys know. Uh, it'll be very interesting how this all shakes out. But I'm interested to hear from you guys. Are you picking these up? Or did you buy the Masters versions and now not picking these up or vice versa? Tell me your thought process. I wonder if it's similar to mine, but let me know in the comments. Of course, give this video the old thumbs up. You made it this far. Subscribe. Hit the old notification bell for the YouTube channel. We got videos every single day. And if you like even more videos, head on to the Patreon. Link in the description below. So many videos will make your head spin uh, going on on the Patreon right now. And then, of course, you can hit me up on social media if you are so inclined or follow along at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProSNTs.com. Got to get a deal. Hit up the old t-shirt, support the channel. So for WWE Superstars Series 1, the Honky Tonk Man, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.